Someone's saying this is sick of Vindictim, and y'all know what time it is. It's getting around that time of the year. E3 is upon us once more. So, I decided to sit down before I gotta leave for work and talk about my predictions for what we, as the Halo community, are gonna see at E3. I'm gonna split this into two parts. The first part, I'm gonna tell you what I want to see. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I want to see, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think we're gonna see now just a heads up what I want to see I'm not saying this is gonna happen okay so before you get on here saying that's not gonna happen you know why are you beating a dead horse I'm just saying what I want to see okay first thing I want to see I want to see some gameplay of uh, Halo Infinite all right straight up I want to see some gameplay of Halo Infinite maybe a story trailer I, you know I'm not really too keen like I'm not like I need to know what the story is about now the gameplay is most important to me. I want to see what type of mechanics we're going to deal with, what's in, what's out, that type of deal. Next, I'd like to see some stuff on Halo Reach. Uh, Halo Reach for MCC wasn't something that I wanted. You know, I wasn't truly against it. I guess I was kind of against it. Um, I'm not really... I, well, I wasn't really... I didn't really care about it, to be honest. There were other things on my mind. So every time Halo Reach was, I was like, no, nah, don't bring Halo Reach to MCC. Come on, there are things that need to be fixed, you know. Things need to happen. Customization needs to be in, you know, revamped. Halo Reach can wait. But Halo Reach is coming to MCC, and I am excited for it, you know. It's going to be 60 frames per second. It's going to be blistering. It's going to be great. I played Halo Reach Legendary Co-op with three of my other buds the other night, and... It was just great, except it was kind of buggy. So knowing that we'll be able to do that, hopefully, smooth as butter, smooth as butter, is really exciting. So I want to see some stuff on Halo Reach. I want to see some stuff on the customization and the season type thing for Halo Reach. I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. And then lastly, what I want to see is I want to see a Halo 3 anniversary reveal. Yep, I'm still I'm still batting for that team. I'm still batting for that team. Halo 3 anniversary. I want to see that. Uh, now, as far as the Halo TV show was concerned, I didn't really make a video. I wanted to make a video of it because it was kind of bothering me. Uh, I may or, I probably won't. This will probably be the video, honestly. I am no longer excited for the Halo TV show because of its announcement that it won't follow the main canon. Now, does that mean that it won't be canon or it will just be like some else I don't know but the reason why I'm no longer excited for it and if you are you know that's great I'm not telling you you're, you're a dweeb or anything but for me one of the charm of the Halo universe is it has been just interlining stories whether it's books games comic books um, you know novels just no, that is books actually and just everything melded so well Name some just say, oh, Halo Reach is in canon. I'm like, okay, I'm not sure if it is. I can't remember. Like, I've had people say it's canon. Some people say it's not canon. I, I don't know. Whatever. With the exception of Halo Reach, because I think that was before 343 really took to heart the whole shared universe thing. You know, they had the Forerunner Saga come out with the books anyway. That's what I love about Halo. Halo. You can read something in a comic book that references something else. And you can like envision that pairing with like stuff from the comic books, referencing stuff from the games, and so on and so forth. One of the things I love about Halo is the shared universe within all the different media forms it, it has. So the fact that you have a TV show that's not following the canon, you know, non canon Halo TV show, it's to me it's pointless. I have no interest in it. I was really excited to see it. Um, and it bothers me for, for many reasons, for many reasons. Number one, the fact that it's not canon it means it's pointless to me, you know. Uh, but also it makes me very concerned. Because if it's not canon, that means they don't have to follow so certain rules. They can change things that are necessary to change. You know, ethnicities of characters, their motivations. Dear guy, I, don't, I hope they don't bring sexual preference into this because someone's sexuality... It doesn't need to come up. Straight, male, gay, whatever. I don't know why. I don't know why I said male. It's not a sexuality. That's weird. Anyway, I just I'm against changing already established lore. That's my main thing. I'm I'm totally against it. 100% against it. And the fact that this TV show isn't going to be canon 
it means that they can. But Kiki Wolf Kill said that they will respect the main cannon, which doesn't make any sense. I love Kiki Wolf Kill, but to say, you know, we're going to respect the main cannon by completely avoiding it, those two things don't add up. You don't respect something while by ignoring it. So, uh, although, although I do love Kiki Wolf Kill, I would have to say I, I vastly disagree. Strongly, sorry, strongly disagree with, with that statement from her that it doesn't make any sense. No. So yeah, I'm not interested in the Halo TV show. If you are, that's great. I'll still check it out, see if it's you know good. But as far as oh, I can't wait. No, they killed the hype for me, unfortunately. So, uh, so yeah, that's why I, I want to see Halo Infinite gameplay. I want to see reach customization and more into that and i want to see halo 3 anniversary now now that i got stuff that i want to see out of the way let's talk about the things that i think we're going to see i think we're going to get some type of demo uh for halo infinite be it uh probably gameplay i think we will see that necessarily um we might we might just get another tech demo like last time who knows uh we, we still don't know how far along in development it is I've heard some leaks say that it's uh, playable. I've heard some say it's not. So, you know, who, who the fuck knows? Um, we also will probably get some news about MCC, you know, Reach. We'll probably get that. It's a more in depth. I think they've actually confirmed it. I don't know. I haven't had the loop the last few days. Been busy with work. Um, and aside from that, I don't think we'll be getting anything else. We might get a sneak peek at the TV show. Although, actually, no, we won't. Because I think they just cast. Um, Master Chief, so I don't know if they've done any production at all, so uh, aside from that, we're, we're not probably not going to get anything else uh, we're, we're not going to get a Halo 3 anniversary if they did, that'd be sick we might get a spin-off game, uh, they might have a little trick up their sleeve um, if we are getting a spin-off game I want it to be the Mega Bloks game, I know some people disagree I want a Halo Lego game, I love the Lego games, that's great it doesn't need to be like serious all the time. Give me a hit Mega Box game. What I've always wanted though is I've always wanted a survival horror game set in the Halo universe. Kinda like Alien Isolation, that type of vibe. I always envision, you know, maybe there's this this ring that's being excavated. Is that the right word? I don't know. And you're like um, a scientist and something goes wrong. The flood escapes. And you have to traverse through this underground installation while avoiding flood and avoiding covenant. And you have no guns, no weapons. Like I said, very alien isolation esque because I love that game. And I've always wanted that, but I don't think we're going to get it. Ever. So, bottom line, what I want Halo Infinite gameplay. I want to see some stuff on Halo Reach. And I still want a Halo 3 anniversary reveal. Really do. <laughs> what I think we're gonna get, we might get a gameplay, we might just get another tech demo, we'll probably get some information on Halo Reach from CC. And um but that's it. I think it's gonna be pretty much it. Now I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. Hope we get a lot of stuff. I've heard reports this is gonna be the greatest E3 for Xbox. Let's find out. Um I am looking forward to other things besides Halo stuff. I am looking forward to Gears 5. And a few other things I can't really think of at the moment. Um, Battlefront 2 news was recently revealed. And I dropped out of Battlefront 2. I really enjoyed the game through its faults. I have my complaints about it. But I really enjoyed it. I don't like EA's first Battlefront. I think that's still trash. But the second Battlefront 2 game was really good. However, when they released the Kashyyyk Capo Supremacy map, its laziness really rubbed me the wrong way. And I kind of fell out of Battlefront 2. So I haven't played it in a while. I only got back on to get my Leia skin, honestly. Uh, but with this news that we're getting Droidicas, you know, new map Felucia is coming as well. The new map for Capital Supremacy is Naboo and General Skywalker skin. It's kind of getting me in the mood to get back in there. Now, my friend has tried to warn me that uh, the Capital Supremacy Naboo map is probably just going to be not as, um, just like Kashyyyk's uh, CS map. So. Uh, I think if I prepare myself, be like, okay, I know it's not going to be anything different than that. I think I'll feel better about it. So those are my thoughts on this E3. It's going to be really exciting. I can't wait. Uh, I have to work today. But afterwards, I'm going to get some donuts. Tomorrow I'll get some Taco Bell. It's going to be great. 
So guys, let's see. I will also be recording my reaction to E3 live. I won't be showing my face, but I'll be recording my TV screen while my voice will be heard. So it's going to be really great. Last time I didn't do that, and I missed out on it. So, see you guys there. Coffee Hot is always finished the fights. Make sure you give him hell chill. Remember, only the insane shall reign.